we'll be doing a neural networks uh, today just a simple example we had something running on the website it's not working anymore it used to look like that a noisy sinusoid prediction whatever number of yep, uh, layers hidden layers and we will be rewriting this in python so popped in and uh, this uh, image of what the front panel looks like into gpt4 and yes we want to do a flask application but mainly relying on javascript we're going to be using a tensorflow js it's just templates are there anyway the good thing about the yeah people say it's the hallucinating and what's not we will be able to see how well it's actually performing by the end of this yeah, when I have sliders, so essentially when I could be able to control stuff. Yes, yeah, so we have this sliders uh, on the HTML. Then we have uh, training prediction chart and then uh, error chart as well. So it keeps uh, putting all these uh, placeholders in the code Is it for github copilot to sort out or or what okay so we should have a template for a flask application yes ChatGPT can make mistakes but again we will be able to tell how good is this code in a sec uh, we will use a github copilot as well uh, can you generate a template for a Flask application with all the necessary files and folders and also the terminal commands for creating all the files and folders? Well, the Flask application is called... I already forgot what it's called. ACD... Oops... A neural net... We'll be able to compare this code to what the uh, GPT-4 is uh, making. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's not. But yes, we need these two folders. And uh, yeah, we might want to open it in another window. Uh, this is mainly because, so for example, um, if you do explain on the terminal, not on the terminal, if you do workspace, I don't know, find neural net. It will fail, I think, because there's just too many files in the whole project. So we'll let it run. Yeah, it's now passing, doing something with the whole, uh, all the folders and everything. Stop and folder. Right, so have a index uh, HTML and stuff. So the app, I, we want to keep it as uh, clean as possible. We don't want to use the backend. We have this HTML. Yeah, obviously, we'll need a lot of modification. Then we have a script.js. Uh, we have snippets of the code that we want to integrate in the info text file. Now we don't want to automate that, we want to integrate the code in the text file into the project. Can you regenerate the whole HTML script? Yeah, this is where GPT-4 on OpenAI website should be better. Yes, so we're using now both uh, TensorFlow.js and Chart.js. It added that. We also have our script.js. It's fine. We have our controls. We'll see in a second what it looks like. Okay, this looks like a complete code to me. Where is the sinusoid being generated? Now it's called the uh, get training data. Your data generation logic will go here, placeholder, blah, blah, blah. Why is GPT-4 messing up the names? Yes, just use basic math function to generate the random numbers. 
Uh, that's for the noise and the sinusoid. Uh, where's the frequency of it being set? The script JS not being found because it's in a static folder. Can you fix that? Control I should be straightforward. Can we see the charts? Okay. <laughs> Um, bum, bum, bum. the style CSL. Well, yeah, we could use some styling. It's always one of those things that should, uh, that's always left uh, to the very end. Uh, shall we get the GitHub Copilot to do it? Do we need the workspace uh, operator? Generate script for style or styles style yeah i'll have to get rid of it eventually because we have um actually styles uh css code for the project itself why am i not seeing and uh, not found why right because it's also in this the different folder isn't it yeah this could be leaking a uh, memory this thing where it keeps uh, adding stuff to uh, to the same chart doesn't make any sense does it well first we don't see the training and prediction hey we have no errors good another good thing about the gpt4 is that we can do this um any issues with the front panel who generated the code for it was it gpt4 or a uh, copilot don't even remember is there a placeholder in this javascript code okay the main issue at the moment is that, that the first chart is not displaying any data okay so we do have the prediction chart javascript okay where does this go is this going into okay so it's just some mock uh, mock stuff that doesn't do anything then we have the sinusoid did we forget to actually implement that didn't we right do have it in here i'm pretty sure we did include that um yeah the function is called something else that's not cool the function is called something else I suspect we are not calling this function correctly so what is it still training if there's no data it's a bit odd the error trend is there but the data is not being properly displayed on the first chart the chart is working uh, okay in general but not uh, displaying the training and prediction data currently we're trying to fix uh, this neural net uh, wave prediction which we had working in the past but only videos of it uh, left. So that's what it used to look like. Let's set your training size, uh, number of hidden layers. It will do the noisy sinusoid, and then the prediction of it, and we'll show you the error trend. So currently, we have the template for it and everything. Trying to get GPT to fix it for us the gpt uh, yeah openly i actually released this really nice um, text to speech i'm just having trouble with it because it's reading everything ex instead of uh, just the bits that i wanted to read yeah the problem with two robots is that they compete with one another and it's not great remember to select the whole code with copilot trying to ensure that the training prediction is being updated i think it is ah no so it is there 
but it's not being updated on the deadline in the train model we wait for model feed epox callbacks yeah we need to update the prediction chart we need to do it before the error chart but just do this for a sec okay we need to restructure this code <laughs> just pop the code and see what it says <sighs> we can any mistakes there's like the order of things is not quite right we have the sign so that we have the prediction prediction is totally wrong and uh, this should add more that points the prediction is still wrong yeah we don't want it to uh, what is it like re when it's retraining we what did it say just now that was an important bit i wish this um voice the open air voice was re well seems like keep hitting that train button doesn't improve anything the prediction is wrong is it because our model is wrong model must be wrong so we don't have anything currently in the back end it's just the uh, front end the uh, javascript processing we are using tensorflow.js and plotting with charges the apache license open source with charges as well MIT license should be fine to use. Question is why is this prediction so bad? Wait, this one in our previous thing we had the prediction happening after the noise design, so it's like the future future prediction. Obviously, this will make you super rich because you will be able to predict the stock prices and the like i'm just joking of course uh, can you explain the chart mainly what is happening with the prediction is it underfitting let's read that the training curve in my head is super sharp at the moment no idea what's going on how do we improve on it yeah don't like this existing code and stuff i just like it to regenerate the javascript could you regenerate the javascript code make sure it can be executed without errors make sure there are no placeholders it's an example of a neural network building a neural network yeah when it starts thinking for a long time like that it's not a good sign Problem is, we need to start a fresh uh, chat. By the way, if you want to check out the eye tracker that I'm using, is available on the website over here on the landing page. So you can uh, try it yourself. It doesn't work well on uh, some uh, smaller screens like mobile phone screen. And while you have it, to have a look at all the other tools and blogs on the site you will be supporting the project that way generated quite a bit of code wasn't even able to do it in one go how do i get access to this um, text to speech as a standalone like a browser add-on or something with the training <laughs> just get any better or worse and now the error trend is not showing anything what did you do again what changes did you make uh, there's no improvement well nothing major can we make sure this thing actually gets updated okay we went back to the previous code your recent changes didn't fix anything didn't make anything better can we start simple on the first chart can we make sure it is being updated after pressing the train neural network button 
uh, currently did not seem to be working as expected. He wanna clear or add uh, to it in the first shot. Do we want uh, the predictions to continue uh, displaying? So the new prediction added to the chart similar to the error trend yeah i wanted to continue to add the more predictions to to the chart and we need to figure out what happened there yeah, i thought we said we want the first chart to behave in the same way as the second one so as we keep uh, training there will be more prediction data points added to the first chart yeah, the error doesn't keep producing okay i think i understand what is it doing let's give it a larger training set so it is doing the prediction yeah i want to like down sample it yeah this will become unusable after a few iterations okay that's the prediction yeah so i understand now what it was doing before let's go back to it quickly i need to check uh, how many data points there are so that red i suspect now it's not plotting all the predicted values uh, let's try um can we log how many predicted values are there after yep okay after this line we have a, yeah we're pushing it keeping the previous prediction that doesn't sound right we did 50 epochs can we try the 100 epochs still going down kind of yeah that red chart is not displaying correctly it seems that the prediction values in the first chart are not displayed correctly yeah we wanna uh, potentially add the uh, a choice next time we continue this we'll add a choice to actually specify how much noise there is in the training sinusoid data set uh, we will add an option to choose how many epochs we train for and mainly i think there's a problem with uh, that predicted waveform being displayed so i'll have to fix that if you haven't checked bionicchaos.com this is a good really good time to do so it is not displayed correctly just pop the whole code in yeah we don't have much happening in the back end so there's not much happening at the back end do not worry about it now with the javascript eh, that might need some fixing the main concern is that the prediction read chart red plot in the first chart is not displaying correctly how many data points does it have is the prediction should be longer than the training set all train array is it that how much longer it should be why doesn't the prediction looks anything nothing anything doesn't look anything like the training data error doesn't go down okay can we focus on the way the first chart is being rendered i suspect there is something wrong with the prediction values being displayed on the chart okay seems like i was wrong chat is uh, displaying correctly there's nothing wrong with the 
Yeah, let's give it a bigger a training set size. And we now doing 500 epochs. Yeah, it is saturating at about uh, 0.1 or so. Let's try increasing the number of hidden layers to 5. It's going to go below 0.1. Let's do the max number. Yeah, it's going lower now. Okay, it's pretty low. So do we need the larger, a larger training set? Maybe. Maybe not. And this is all happening in JavaScript. So when you use it, you're not using my electricity. You'll be using your electricity. So that's promising. Anyway, we'll continue improving it uh, next time. Do make sure you go check out bionicchaos.com. All the tools I make eventually appear there. And it is, the website is monetized, so it's running ads. So yes, you can use your ad blocker. That's what I'm doing at the moment. And it's actually blocking two ads from displaying on this page. Two ads there. So yeah, if you go check it out, don't forget to turn your ad blocker off. So you'll be helping the project. And I'll see you next time. Bye.